Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. Once again, as always, we're joined by Mr. Richard Holden. Hi folks. And this is a, it's not one of our recipes, this not is taken off the Traeger website. Something that got us all a little bit of intrigued. Yep, something that These we saw that we thought we need to recreate. What do we call them? These we call are them pig, pig shots. shots. So this is a really uh, simple little dish. Uh, we've got in our tray, we've got some slices, we got smoked off some sausages. Yep. Um, as we mentioned, this Traeger recipe, in the States you can get pre-cooked sausages from the shops, but we've got some um, Cumberland style sausages, cooked them off on the Traeger, smoked them, and then cut them into about one inch discs. Um, maybe a little bit smaller, but then what you do is you grab a little bit of uh, streaky bacon, and you just roll that around, keeping the a little bit of sausage to one end of the roll. And the idea with this is that you end up with a little shot, shot, effectively a shot glass, out of your bacon and your sausage. And you just secure that with a cocktail stick. So that's that one. And then in our dish here, we have the Philadelphia cream cheese, the strong cheddar. Um, we're using an Angus and Oink, uh, sweet bones and butts barbecue rub. Uh, which you suck a lot of here, don't yeah, you? Yeah, this is one of the uh, UK's premium bear barbecue rubs, one of the ones that's made in the UK. This is one of the newest ones as well. Okay, cool. So this is so the first time we're trying it. Good little stocking stuffer maybe for yep. Christmas. Uh, so we've got some of that, we've got some chilli powder and we've got some fresh diced chilli as well. So we're just going to stir that all together, give that a good combine and then this mixture it's going to get spooned into our little bacon shot. There's quite glasses. a bit of chilli in there. There's quite a bit of chilli, you can tell this is a North American recipe. Quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of chili going on in here. Um, you know, if you're going to have some heat, you might as well be able to feel it. So, so just show Adrian the colour that you've got now. If we just have a look at that, the chili makes that cream cheese go nice and red, nice coral colour actually. Let's just give that a good mix down. we're ready to go. So, this is where your uh, accuracy skills need to come into play. And where hopefully you find a teaspoon that fits the top of the shots. That just goes into there like so. Right, so we've got our 12 little shots there filled with the cream cheese. The amount of cream cheese that we've got in here, the mixture would probably make enough for a dozen and a half, two dozen, just depending on how deep you've got your streaky bacon. But they are ready to go. Um, it will soften and it will sink down. So just try and make it as neat as you can, but away. But we're, we're pretty much ready to go to our barbecue there. So let's take them to the Traeger. Right, so our Traeger's set up for about 185. Uh, anywhere between 180 and 190 will be absolutely fine for this. Um, we're looking to reheat those sausages, the little discs underneath, cook the bacon down, get it all nice and rendered. So that can go on the middle shelf. Lid down 45 minutes or until that bacon is nice and crispy and the centre is nice and hot and gooey in the middle and then we'll take them off. 45 minutes later, let's go have a quick look because these are Oh, ready. one's collapsed. One's collapsed, that's just the one that, well, maybe two. Those are the ones that you eat yourself. That's the way that you make sure that you get some of the food that you've cooked. Put the rest out on a plate for your friends and family. Let them tuck in. I would let those cool ever so slightly before um, you serve them. Yeah. So we'll try them off camera. We'll try those off camera with the film crew, maybe, if they're lucky. So if you'd like the recipe for this dish, visit the website, hayesgardenworld.co.uk or, or see the team in the shop. We're, uh, I'm sure we're going to be recreating these ones a few times. I think so. Um, if you do try them, uh, we're across all the social media, share it with us. We love seeing people's uh, versions of the dishes we create. Yep. And all that's left for me and Richard to say is Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, folks. And uh, we'll see you again next time.